Hey guys, welcome back to Count With The Game. I am bringing you guys something special today. It's something I've bought you 20 times before. <laughs> it's, um, it's Dynamist. It's Dynamist. <laughs> However, uh, I actually took it to an event this time and I topped, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, it, it's not as big of an event as I wish, but um, it is still a top, uh, nonetheless. And I have literally been requested 20 times in the Dynamist group for this deck list. Here I am. I've got it for you. Um, it's It was still a decently big event. It's something we travelled to. Yeah, we did travel for like an hour and a bit to get there. Um, and I went undefeated in Swiss. So it was four rounds of Swiss and then a top cut, um, which was top eight. Uh, I went undefeated in Swiss with one draw in the third round. Um, and then I lost in uh, top eight. But um, yeah, I came second in Swiss, which was really nice. Um, right. Constantly was sort of laughed at over the day of, <laughs> for this deck. It, but um, Wollongong Mess Locals, you know it. Is, uh, is the deck profile coming for the dude that beat you? Yeah, the deck profile is coming. Jake beat me. Um, and Jake went on to uh, win the event. <laughs> so. Yeah, he, he beat both of us in top eight. Oh, he beat you yeah. in top eight, me in top four, and then won the finals. <laughs> yeah, won the finals against the dude I drew with. Um, against the only person to beat me other than Jake. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the deck list. It's, it is Mystic Mono Mist, but it's, it's a bit different than you think. Uh, well, you would. Um, so we actually run a few more hand traps than we did uh, last time. So we run still the 3D Shifter. Um, which is just, you know, incredible. I'm starting to think if it's worth to just play, like, one-time hand traps over this instead, but it performed reasonably well, as long as I dropped it in the standby phase. If I didn't, I always got tactics. Um, so, drop this in the standby phase. <laughs> you do everything in standby phase. Yeah. Drop your shifter in the standby phase, reborn with shoe in standby phase. <laughs> yeah. The real way to play. Yeah. Uh, then we run two ash. That's forty dollars worth of ash right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I don't really need to explain that. <laughs> uh, for the monsters, we run three dynamis Terran. Very, very. This, this is the the searcher. It, it has to destroy something. Uh, Plasios. Uh, and one Ankleos. And one Stegosaur. Um, these are just your howling targets. Um, so you just always put these in the scales. You, you never use their effects. Uh, we also run two Dynamist Spinos. Some people have been telling me, Lachlan, you are dumb. This is pronounced Spinos. Shut up. I don't care. <laughs> 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 uh, but that is the monsters. Um, should be, what's that? I wasn't counting. 15. Okay. But that's including the hand traps. Um, moving on to our spells, we run eight draw spells. So we run three Dynamis Charge, just a very good tanky. We run three Extrav and two Pot of Duality. Um, these worked really well. I really like these ratios. I wouldn't recommend running three of these. It just begets. You do like to special summon, so it gets a bit dead. Um, plus, most of the time you end up having to discard for hand size, so um, I really wouldn't recommend running any more than two dualities. And you could definitely play Prosperity if you wanted to, but I favoured the plus in the early game over the sort of break even. You are definitely kept picking up that duality just to show off its secret as well, didn't Shut you? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, no one's going to like this. Uh, three Mystic Mine. This deck is slow. The idea of this card is to put you on a level playing field. You don't have any monster effects that you're going to activate, realistically. This puts you onto a level playing field with your opponent and brings them down to your level instead of trying to play at a way higher level than Dynamist can. Um, so that's the idea with Mystic Mine. Um, there's just also... because. Cards tribute for costs is just inherent synergies. Um, and we run one terraforming with that as well. Um, and to round off our spells, we play two limiter removal. Um, the idea 
behind this is just Spinos OTK. Um, it's also, you know, pretty good. Quick play. Stuff can attack into your stuff, and then you're like... You, you'll have, like, a Terran on board, and they'll attack in, and you'll just, like, flip this, and it's like, okay, your thing gets destroyed now. Uh, effect. Search. And then there was the sad time when you had a secure gardener yeah. force a drawer on you. Ah, drawers should not be a thing. <laughs> uh, moving on to the traps. It's very trap heavy. It runs 12 traps. Um, so we run 3 imperm. Um, I would say drop one of this for an ash. I just I was so back and forth on the... I wanted to run 5 between Ash and Imperm, and I thought this was better as it sort of dodged tactics, but it just never came up. I never really versed anything that particularly cared about it. It is also a hard once per... It's not a hard once per turn. That's yeah. It is a hard once per turn. Yeah, it just felt like Ash would have had a bit more impact, um, at least in my matchups, which I can probably talk through a bit later. We'll talk through it again. Um, for the one-ofs, we run one Metaverse and one Skill Drain, um, this deck is 41 cards. Uh, this is the 41st card. You can cut this. It's completely fine. Even if you want to chuck it in the side deck. I just never saw this and won the game. Okay. Um, a lot of decks can either play around it because their effects are in hand and then they just attack. Or they can, um, they can just pop it. So, it's been not that great for me. We also run, uh, two Judgment, um... I guess you could probably, if you wanted to cut the hand trap sort of thing, you could drop one of the imperms for another judgment, but then you're running a lot of two offs. Um, and two ice dragons prison, uh, prison. This way uh, overachieved what I was expecting. Um, the card is one of the best traps in the game. Yeah, it's very good, but like even in this deck where you want your opponent to have a certain amount of monsters on the board, um, this deck, this card's still really. It, it did well. It did really well. Um, and then we run best trap in the game. Dynamis tidying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no. No. Um, you guys know what this card does. <laughs> so I don't need to explain it. But you see it... Um, I actually don't think there was a game where I saw this and lost. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's just... it. All these years later, this card's still really good. <laughs> um, so we'll jump onto this uh, extra deck. Um, I want to preface this by saying I summoned one extra deck monster all day. Um, was it a cowboy? No, it Disappointed. wasn't. Disappointed. It was a Baguska. Um, oh boy. But, and it lost me the game. <laughs> uh. But first off, uh, we play our uh, Maximus targets. Uh, one Entus, one uh, Wind Pegasus at Ignista. Um, I think, like, I could probably just up my count and put in a Mecha Bar and then another Nova or something, but I was like, this is actually more valuable because it doesn't activate, yeah. like, the protection effect. So it can protect Mystic Mine, I believe, okay. which is cards, right? Oh. I thought it was when you take damage. Never mind, it is activated. But anyway. Uh, no, it's just when they try to destroy something. Okay. Um, I'm getting into the links. We're on an Avramax, a Clifford Genius, um, a Geonator Train. <laughs> Switchy person. switch. We run the Dragoon out. This is literally the Dex Dragoon out. Oh boy, okay. Um, oh, this is... Another Dragoon out, I guess, but, um... Attack over with limited removal. Yeah, that's another one. But so much in this deck targets. <laughs> the, the way you usually beat Dragoon is just to attack directly. <laughs> and then we run one IP Mascarena. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we just run it. <laughs> it's, Hopefully uh, I guess it all gets the, away. <laughs> I guess the idea is that this, but... Honest to God, you could just run a full extra deck of of uh, punish like of of Maximus targets, to be honest, and like some Geonators. Um, it doesn't particularly come up. Then we run to the XYZs. We of course run the Nova and Infinity package. 
Um, we run Baguska, uh, the only XYZ I summoned in the whole day, and it lost me the game because it just immediately got dropleted. Um, and uh, Abyss Dweller, it's a pretty good a nice card. <laughs> <laughs> then we run our Bahamut Shark and Toad Package. Probably would have been a better thing to summon than Maguska, but uh, I think I extrapped it away. And then the most important card in the extra deck, uh, we run three copies just because it, you know, it comes up all the time. We run um, three Gaga Gaga Cowboy. This is not a joke. I, I did literally run this at the event <laughs> and uh, didn't summon it, but... It almost came up the draws, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It did almost come up. It came very close to coming up, but yeah, we drew. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the extra deck. We'll move on to the side deck real quick. I usually don't do side decks, but I think there's some important stuff in here that I need to talk about. Um, so we run three spell canceller. Um, this card is uh, this might be the only deck that can really abuse this card, um, and this card destroys a lot of shit in the meta at the moment. Like, you, it's not just that spells get negated, you can't activate the fucking spells. So, like, um, if you think about it, how does, um, like, let's say, like, Invoked. How, how does Invoked out this? They can't activate spells. There's no invocation. Right? I side this in against Invoked. Um, which is pretty good. Because you can't droplets it. You can't... Like, it doesn't come up. It's also searchable off Clifford Genius. So if you have it, and then normal su uh, special summon or whatever, you can search it and then just normal summon over the Clifford Genius or whatever you have. Um, card's really good. Also, they're very pretty. we are on three Heavy Storm Duster, just because... Uh, we don't ever want to lose to back row. Like, when we're making the final push with uh, Spinos, um, you just want to do this in the end phase before that so that you can really push. Um, we run two droplets. Um, I guess there's another Dragoon out, but once again, uh, I never started these in all day. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, because back row removal is super important. I'm running seven specific back row cards, not including Spell Cancellor. But Spell um, Cancellor is the best in the Mystic Mind matchup. It's very good. <laughs> there was a pure Mystic Mind player, and I just set my scales and Pendulum summoned to this, and he scooped. Like, <laughs> it was straight away. And then the game after that, I saw Harpies and a Heavy Storm... Oh, wait, no, it was Harpies and a Twin Twister, and then, like, a Limiter removal as well, and he just scooped. Um... Which is, you know, the right thing to do because I'm playing the best deck, Dynamist. Uh, and then three Dark Ruler. This card was useless. Um, you, I don't want to say that you can take it out because you probably can't. But um, I would have preferred to have like anything else. Like evenly. Yeah, evenlies. I would have preferred to have evenlies or. Um, well. Man, I, I guess, don't even know. Brachion's even. Like, right. Dark Ruler plus Mystic Mind shuts down Dragon everything. Link and it shuts down... Yeah. It shuts down almost everything. Everything that isn't, like, doesn't have a back row component, it's done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the list. I can run us through yeah. matchups real quick. Talk some matchups. So, first round, I am up against Phantom Knights. Dude goes first... Absolutely destroys me. Just goes through everything. I try... I don't see a Mystic Mine. I play the best I can to get something out there, which is quite poor, because I saw two D-Shifters, two Spinos, and uh, a trap. I don't know which trap. I think it was an Ice Dragon's Prism. Um, which just isn't great. Um, I activated the D-Shifter when he tried to use... Um, Torn Scales effect, and he just uh, triple tactics to me and put away whatever the trap was. Um, 
so he destroys me, and then for turn I top deck uh, Mystic Mind, and then we just sit there going back and forth because he doesn't have a main deck out, and I'm just drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing, and then eventually I just draw till I got game. Um, so that was fun. That is the deck's win con, uh, <laughs> is that it can protect Mystic, uh, it can protect Mystic Mind. Um, so I end up winning that one. Um, second round I versed. Oh, pure mystic mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> game one goes for 25 minutes as I'm waiting to see my howling because I'm assuming he'll let me have it off Goddess Skull Oracle because he doesn't know what it does. Um, he activates Prohibition calling Solemn Judgment as I Solemn Judgmented his uh, final countdown. Um, and then I'm like, just still going, still going. And I def- eventually... I I'm- definitely walked past at the point when the Prohibition was on board and I was like, I wonder what he called on that. Yeah, it was oh, Solemn well. <laughs> yeah, <it was> Solem- <laughs> Judgment. Um, he then later activated Prohibition, calling Dynamist Howling, which I wonder if that's ever happened before. Oh boy. <laughs> um, and then I immediately scooped, um, which probably wasn't the smart thing to do. I probably should have kept going and then been like, oh, whatever, I'll just lose. But I let him know that it was Dynamist Howling, um, but he had figured it out, I guess. Um, then game two, summon spell canceler, win. Game three draw every back row out in my deck, win. Um, Round three... Dinos. Dinos. Um, I win the first game. I lose the second game because he just goes a bit too fast for me. Like, he just really goes, and I haven't drawn Mystic Miner or Way to it, or any even back row. I don't think I even saw Howling. And then we go into game three, and um, th- those games might be reversed, actually. It might be the other way. But we go into game three with, like, like 30 seconds left. I see two, uh, three scales, a Terran, and a uh, limiter removal. And I'm like, okay, uh, normal summon Terran, place the two three scales in because it stops destruction. Um... And set the limiter removal. He's like, okay, Animadorn. Um, summon. Was it Animadorn or. No, it was. Um, Old Bet. Um, it was Oviraptor. He summons Oviraptor, adds, adds Misk. Misk discard. Um, Misk effect, summon Animadorn. Animadorn destroy something. Um, make Link Kribo. He hesitates for half a sec. Alright. Uh, some technical difficulties, but um, yeah, he makes a kill gardener, and then I lose. So that kind of sucks. But um, anyway, um, I cannot remember my round four matchup. Um, I can't remember what it is. Uh, but I won. You were sitting next to me. I should know. Yeah, I, I went. I started out on table one, then I went to table two, then I went to table one, then I went to table two. Okay. Like what? I didn't leave top table until top card. Was it just dinos again? It might have just been Dinos again. Or it was... Oh, no, you wouldn't have played against the guy that I played against the round before. I don't know. Because I knocked him out. Um, yeah, I can't anyway, remember either. Uh, I, I, Dynamis crushed him. <laughs> uh, no. But um, then in top cut, um, unfortunately, I lost to Jake. Uh... I like to say uh, I didn't lose to a deck, I lost to a player, um, which I agree with. My deck is uh, clearly suited to be that deck, it's just Jake knows this deck in and out, and so I lose my one of this deck's win conditions, which is uh, too long didn't read. Um, <laughs> uh, TLDR uh, wins you a lot of games. Um, unfortunately, when someone's versed the deck a hundred times, you no longer have that, uh, that luxury. Um, but the deck also bricked. It was one of two times that I bricked all day. One being the first, uh, the first game, and the second one being the last game. (laughs) This is the exact same thing I said in my Dragon Maid profile. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. Um, but yeah, look, deck performed really well. You should give it a try. You really should let me know, uh, if there's anything you can do to make it better. 
Um, at this point, I believe the engine is perfect. If I'm honest, I don't think the engine itself can be made anything better. I think you can just improve upon uh, tech choices, and that's meta and locals dependent. Um, so there's not much you can really do there. Um, oh <laughs> to, you know how when cats get in crackhead mode? Yeah, my cat is in crackhead mode. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Subscribe to Cowboy for Game, the best um, cowboy themed YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot that specialize in very unique things that you cannot accommodate for. Yeah. Or um, can you? But this was the uh, this was the winnings. I got a little stuff right for Leo. Um, and a field center that I think I already have. You also got like six OTS? Yeah, I got six OTS, which is pretty nice. Can't complain. Um, Except you didn't get any LTS. Yeah, can't I can't complain. complain. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll have Jake's video up either. It's already up. Uh, in which case, you should go watch it, or it'll be up tomorrow, in which case, you should go watch it tomorrow. Thanks, guys.